Hey guys, so I recently got a box in the mail of the entire The Hunger Games The Exhibition Makeup Collection. I wasn't even aware that this existed until they sent me an email asking if I would like to check it out and I said yes, I love The Hunger Games books and the movies, so I'm very curious to try The Hunger Games Makeup Collection. So if you'd like to see what's included in this collection and see that products tried on here, my first impressions, then just keep watching. Okay, this collection was developed by the manufacturers of LA Splash Cosmetics and I have featured them on my channel before. It includes two collections. There is the Capital and the Girl on Fire collection. So it looks like the Capital collection has this C on it. It's white packaging with copper writing. And then Girl on Fire is the black packaging with the fire and the gold writing. And it says what is inside this collection, but I'd rather just dive in, pull things out, and see what they are. The Capital comes in this white packaging. It's actually holographic. As I'm turning it, I am seeing rainbows, prisms of color. So it looks like there are two lashes in this collection, both of which are way too much for me. But I can appreciate a nice fluffy lash for those that like it. Looks like we have two liquid lipsticks. We have one called Capital and one called Girl on Fire, and it looks like the shade color is on the top of the packaging, which is nice. And then tied up all nice and pretty here, we have Smudge Proof Liquid Eyeliners. And it looks like the shades of these are Finnick, Claudius, and Victor, characters from Hunger Games. And then it looks like on the top, again, we have the shade colors printed on the top for reference. And then we have the eyeshadow palette from the Capitol. And on all of these, it says, eyes bright, chins up, smiles on, Effie Trinkle. Effie was like the very colorful character with the new wigs, the lashes from the movie. So her quote is on all of the capital packaging. Oh, there's only four shades in it. Okay, I was expecting like nine pans, but we get four. We have White Rose, Bubbly, Effie, and Caesar. Interesting. All right, let's move on over to the Girl on Fire collection. Again, we have two sets of lashes. This is probably the one that I will go for. This one might be fun for like special events, but they're still very big for my personal taste. Again, we have two liquid lipsticks. These are named Katniss and Primrose. Then again, we have three liquid liners. The names on these are Cinna, Embers, and Cole. And on the top, again, we've got some colors and then an eyeshadow palette. Pretty. And then inside, again, four shades. Rose, Buttercup the Cat, Tigress, and Cinna. Okay, I'm going to start off with the liquid lipsticks because they pique my interest the most. Look at this packaging. Very similar to the LA Splash. I believe it was called the Villains Collection where they had the gem on top the black lid and the clear packaging. So that is cute, this one's Katniss. I'm just gonna unbox them all real quick. And the capital has a white lid with a little gemstone on top, cute. So from Girl on Fire, we've got these two kind of neutral shades and from the capital collection, we've got like a fiery orange and more of like a magenta color. Here are the liquid lipstick swatches. We have Primrose, Katniss, Girl on Fire, and Capital. Next, let's swatch these liners. And just as with the liquid lipsticks, there are two separate designs. We have Girl on Fire, which is the black and gold, and then the Capital, which is white and gold. These are your deep shades. It looks like we have a gold metallic gold glitter liner, a bronzy glitter liner, and then perhaps just a black liner. I'm not sure yet. Can't tell if it's black glitter or solid black. And then over here, we've got like a teal glitter, a very chunky pinkish glitter, which I'm not sure if that's eye safe because the pieces look very, very large. And then like a whitish silver aligner. So we'll swatch these. First up we have Cinna. It's nice and smooth. Next was this questionable one called Coal and I'm not sure if it's glitter or just black. Now that one it's just black glitter without any shine. So I don't know why you would use this over just a black eyeliner. 
You can see all the little bits. I don't really see the point to this one, honestly. It just looks like an eyeliner that has fallen apart. So I'm gonna say pass right off the bat on just this one. Next up, we have Embers, which is a really cool, like coppery bronzy shade one. That is not showing up. It's a shame. This one looked a lot more reflective in the tube than it does on my hand, but perhaps when the light catches it, like I'm seeing little bits of red, little bits of copper, but definitely not as shiny as this very first one. We have Finnick, which is this really pretty teal one. Ooh, that's pretty. We have this pink one that I'm not sure about how eye safe it is. It's called Claudius. These pieces are really large and they look angular. And the brush on this one looks like it was put away roughly or it was sealed up roughly. So it's all frayed. That did happen to some of the other ones I've used from them in the past. I don't know. I mean, this looks pretty large to be eye safe, guys. I'm just not sure about that one. It says to apply to the inner part of the eye and drag across the lash line. So it is intended for eye use. I just, I don't know. I don't know about that one. All right, the last one we have is Victor. which is like a whitish silver sparkly one, really pretty. It says they come in six sparkling shades that can be worn alone or layered for a dramatic head turning look. But I don't think that this one would turn anyone's head, it just looks like a black liner. These I like, this one I like. I'm on the fence about this bronzy one. I really liked it in the tube, but on my hand it just looks like kind of like a brown dirty liner, like little bits of dirt. So we'll see. Now let's dive into these palettes and see what these look like. I'm going to start off with the Girl on Fire one because these look like the most wearable shades. Here are the four shades from the Girl on Fire palette. Okay, so they swatched pretty well. This top one is like my skin tone, so you're not going to see it much. But it did come off on my skin. Look at this metallic. One swipe, that's pretty nice. Next, let's move over to this capital one with the more bold shades. So here is the capital shadow palette shades. The white one. There's like a metallic-y one, a purple, and a blue. Okay, so right off the bat, this is not as impressive as this. These are nice and smooth. These are pretty patchy and not a whole lot of color payoff, perhaps applied wet. This one will work better. So I think I'm going to work mostly with this palette and perhaps use a touch of the gold and the white. So let me clean off these swatches and we'll dive right into the eyes. Okay, so I've zoomed you in. I've prepped the eyes with a little MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. So now I think it's time to start with the shadow. I'm going to go into this white one just to kind of set the primer. Okay, so the white worked really well. Next, I'm gonna go into the Girl on Fire palette and go into this one first as a crease shade. Okay, that's basically my skin tones doing nothing, so I'm going to just kind of move over here to Buttercup. Okay, so that shade blended out nicely. It's a nice, rich crease color. Next, I'm going to go into Tigress on the outer corner to try to deepen things up a bit. Okay, those matte shades worked really well, so now let's dip into Cinna and see how well that applies. I'm gonna try dry first and then I will try to dampen my brush. Pretty weak dry, so let's try dampening this. Okay. 
Okay, so the top lid looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the face makeup so we can come back and do liner, lower lash line, and try out some of these crazy lashes. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I went ahead and applied a little bit of Stila foundation, some Milani concealer, I did brows. Now let's jump into lips because I'm very curious to see what these look like. Since we're going kind of nude on the eyes, I'm gonna pass on these brights and we will go with one of the Girl on Fire shades. I mean, Katniss is the star of the show, so I feel like I need to use hers. I one dip into the tube did my full lips. It allowed me to line my lips and then fill them in with the point of this applicator. So far feels pretty comfortable, so we'll see how it dries down. Let's go back to the eyes and finish the lower lash line. Going back in with the Girl on Fire palette, I'm just gonna grab the two browns and kind of smudge under the lash line. Okay, next I want to go into the Capital palette and grab this metallic gold as my inner corner shade. All right, next let's try some of these liquid liners. I really wanna try these four and I'm not sure if I can work them all into my look. So I think I'm gonna start by putting this one on the inner part of my lid, kind of doing like an ombre liner, fading to this shade, fading to this shade. Perhaps a little this one on the lower lash line. So we're gonna go a little crazy today. I think I'm just gonna put that all over the lid actually. That's pretty. And next I'm gonna go in with the Embers liner and I think I'm gonna start lining my lash line with this and then fading to black. It's not a very opaque liner to begin with. Because of the clear base, it doesn't have a colored base, it's gonna take a long time to layer this up to an opaque brown color. So just keep that in mind. All right, this liner idea is not gonna work. There's not enough opacity here to create a line. So I'm just gonna kind of fade out some of this brown glitter on this part of the lid. We're just gonna have like an ombre glitter lid. And because the black is the same way, it is black glitter in a clear goop, I don't think we're gonna be able to get a black liner with this. So I'm gonna hop off camera, apply a black liner, and be back to try the lashes. Okay, so I've trimmed the lashes. I trimmed off this much off of the lash because it was too long for me. They are almost always too long for me, so I'm just gonna apply some adhesive and try to apply these. Try being the operative word. One thing I just noticed while these are drying is there's a lot of glue on these lashes to have them stick to the container. So there's already a lot of like gunk along the, ba the base of the lash line. So that's just something to be aware of. I feel like they could have used two dots of glue and it would have adhered just as well instead of coating the whole thing with glue to stick it to the holder. Just my thoughts. Okay, those are pretty nice. So now let me do the same thing to the other sides. This is without and with. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the eye look with the lashes on. I applied the Octavia lashes and they are definitely like tapered. They're thin, they're shorter in the front and then longer on the outside for like that flared lash look. 
I think these look pretty nice on my eyes. It's a nice lash for my eye shape. It's not overwhelming. I can still see my shadow. I can still see my liner. I think it's pretty nice. I mean, I definitely can tell that I have false lashes on because obviously my lashes are not this long on the outside. And I know that these other designs would definitely overwhelm my smaller eyes. So the lashes were easy to apply. I was surprised they don't come with glue though. So you have to have glue on hand. This lip product is looking a little bit more pink than I was expecting. So I'm just gonna try applying a little bit of primrose on top to see if that changes the color at all. Yeah, primrose looks like a little bit cooler tone. I think that goes just a little bit better than that pinky tone lip I originally had on. So let me give you the rundown of what I think of these products. Let's start with the eyeshadows. I think that the Girl on Fire one is really nice. I liked all of these shades in here. I thought that the browns were super blendable. They look really smooth on the eye. This shade here works pretty well dry, but it works even better wet. The other palette, I only used the two shades. The white was a nice all over base shade, and this one was an okay inner corner shade, but it needs to be built up quite a bit. And these two, just from swatching, I feel like they were not very strong colors. So of the two, I would say pass on the Capital One and pick up the Girl on Fire shadow palette. The liquid lipsticks, I am excited about three out of the four shades. I'm just not like a bright pink lip girl, but I know some people are, so this is just not my personal preference, but they look nice on the lips. They're not settling into the lines when they are drying. They're staying nice and smooth and comfortable, and this has been on for probably close to an hour now, and I think it feels really nice, so I like the applicator. I like the formula, so these are really nice. Let's talk about the glitters. From the Girl on Fire collection, I think this is the only one that's really worth picking up. These two, the brown one is not sparkly enough to show up as a glitter and it's not deep enough and opaque enough to be a brownish liner. Same with the black. The black, there's a clear goo that the glitter is in, but the glitter is not shiny. It's just matte black glitter. So you're not really gonna get any glitter reflect from this. You're not gonna get a black line from this. I would say pass on these two and pick up Cinna. This one's really beautiful. And then in this collection, I think that these are all beautiful and sparkly and reflective and easy to apply, but I'm still concerned about how large the glitter is in this particular one. This one is Claudius. I don't know. I mean, I do wear glitter on the eyes, but the chunks in here are very large that if things bother your eyes, I would steer clear of this one and go with these two. Um, if you're gonna use glitter on your cheeks, then definitely use this one, it would be totally fine. But on the eyes, I'm gonna say err on the side of caution with this one and avoid this one, but these two are beautiful and apply really easily. And lashes, you know that I like this one, but the others are definitely <laughs> not my taste, but the band is nice and flexible. They were very easy to trim, very easy to pop on. So I'd say they're very easy lashes to apply. Just depends on your personal preference of size and shape. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Hunger Games makeup collection. It was so much fun for me to try these out and play with them. I personally love the Hunger Games books and movies. I think they're amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. May the odds be ever in your favor. Bye, guys.